H. pylori. So H. pylori is something that infects the stomach. This is a bacterial infection that over 50% of the world population has, but in some people it can become opportunistic and the levels can rise too much. Now the damage to the stomach, the mechanism is it damages the parietal cells. So if we open up the stomach here, inside the stomach you have parietal cells. And what the parietal cells do is they secrete stomach acid, which is HCl, hydrochloric acid. This is where your food will enter into the stomach and hopefully be broken down. Now, when you have H. pylori, your stomach acid levels become more alkaline. This is not good. When you see a turkey vulture on the side of the road eating roadkill, the reason they don't get sick is because their stomach is highly acidic and they're able to break down anything that they eat. Now, in the modern world, guess what we do? We get infections that disrupt the level of HCl, but then we take proton pump inhibitors and these acid blocking medications take the stomach acid that's already lower due to the infection, they lower it even more. Now you've got a recipe for dysbiosis. Now we'll go ahead, we'll pull out the liver and behind the liver, you're gonna see the beautiful gallbladder, which hopefully you still have. Now the liver makes bile and it concentrates it and stores it right here in the gallbladder by about a factor of 10X. Now the reason this is important is because your fat soluble vitamins, you must have the release of this stored bile from the gallbladder, which is triggered by the upstream cascade that happens in the stomach. After you're chewing, 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 and all that food enters into the stomach, that then triggers the release from the gallbladder. So this whole thing falls apart. And then you get into your intestinal tract, and this thing becomes a wreck too, because now, guess what's gonna happen? All of your small intestine eventually empties in through the ileocecal valve into your ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and then out your butt. But the problem is, when you have all this dysbiosis going on, you're going to the SIBO doctors, you're doing the SIBO protocols, but you're working here and you haven't worked enough upstream supporting the gallbladder, supporting your stomach. So you gotta make sure you test, not guess. H. pylori is a super common infection. I had it, I lost about 25 pounds without trying. I was anxious, I was depressed. This is the big smoking gun, folks, and it all happens right here. All right, this is Evan Brand signing out. Take care.